you're watching this video, you're probably wondering, why is my strut spacer only half the size of the amount advertised? Well, rest assured that your strut spacer is the proper thickness as advertised. My name is Dylan, and I'll be explaining how an inch and a half spacer will give you three inches of lift. The lift that you ordered will generate approximately double the size of your strut spacer. For example, a three inch lift is generated by one and a quarter to one and a half inch thick spacer. That is why your strut spacer is only half the size of the thickness expected. Once you've installed your strut spacer on top of your strut, the strut spacer will provide three inches of lift as advertised. If you take a look at the diagram that I have behind me, I will show you how your spacer works in correlation with your front suspension. This is a basic diagram representing your vehicle suspension. Here you have your tire, your upper and lower control arms, your strut, and your strut spacer. When your strut spacer is properly mounted to the top of your strut, this will generate pressure on your lower control arm, which pivots point A on your control arms downward and points B upward. This pivot caused by the installation of your strut spacer is what will give you your three inches of lift, even though your strut spacer is an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. Think about it like a teeter-totter. As pressure is forced down onto one end, the other end must open up and lift in response. Your vehicle will work in a similar fashion. Unlike your vehicle, the teeter-totter will not have a control arm to control the direction of the lift. I hope this helps, and leave a comment below if you have any further questions or just want to give us a shout out. Thank you for taking the time to learn with us. I've been Dylan. Until next time.